Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. <laughs> Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. I can't put it towards how amazing this view is. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth watering foods that only this great state has to offer. So can we dig in? My mic is seriously the happiest person ever right now. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your insider's guide to all the can't miss spots the Lone Star State has to offer. I'm your host AC and get ready for a jam-packed episode full of wild adventures. And with the warmer weather upon us, things are about to get pretty hot here in Texas. So what's the best way to stay cool? How about on a motorized surfboard going 35 miles per hour across beautiful Medina Lake? Let's just say this one will get your heart racing and your adrenaline pumping. And we're on our way to Medina Lake in the heart of the Texas Hill Country. Let's go. Fun fact, did you know that Medina Lake is actually considered a reservoir? All that crystal water comes straight from the Medina River, giving jet servers a chance to catch the perfect wave. Speaking of jet setters, we're actually on our way to meet one of the best in the entire sport. Dana is a professional jet surfer, and as you can see, he's got some serious skills. So, let's go meet him. Howdy, AC. Welcome. Thank you. You ready to jet surf? Let's do this. All right, let's go. All right, Dana, for people who do not know what we're doing here today, can you kind of explain what the sport is? What is jet surf? Well, AC, the best way to explain jet surfing is take a surfboard or a wakeboard and shrink an engine in it and put it inside of it. It's a 100cc two-stroke engine, just like you'd find on a motocross motorcycle. And so this guy from Czechoslovakia shrunk it, put it inside the surfboard, and let it rip. Bam, and this is what we're going to be doing. That's what you'll be doing today. <laughs> and here you are, a national competitor. You just competed in Cancun for the U.S. motor surf team. Um, so what is competition like? How did you get from that, that point as a hobby to now competitive side? Well, once I got my first jet surf about four years ago, I just started practicing and practicing <laughs> nonstop. And I wanted to race just because I had the motocross background. And so finally last summer, I just packed up my gear and I flew to London and went to my first competition. Did okay and a jet surf USA representative saw me and uh, asked me, invited me to be on the team. Easier said than done, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do you go say? We check it out. Let's go do it. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, so what's the first step we need to take? <laughs> Looks like you're ready to get rolling. So as in any sport, safety first, AC. So yeah. let me just show you a couple of things. All righty. First is a life jacket. Okay. And number two, for this, since it's an adventure sport, a helmet is really good. Man, you are set up, ready to go. Let's do this. <laughs> this is a jet surf board, and it's a surfboard with an engine in it. So when you're ready to get off, if you get uncomfortable, just throw yourself off the back of it, and it'll stop, and then you can swim back up. Perfect. Once you get going at a medium speed, then you'll feel the stability of it. The slower you go, the harder it will be to stand up. All right, let's do this. You ready? All right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and after a few adjustments, it was all or nothing, no holding back. <laughs> Let me just say, knee jet surfing is a whole lot harder than you think. But in no time, I finally got the hang of it. Not bad for my first time, but now it was time for the real test. Full on jet surf. Post a couple of failed attempts, believe it or not, I actually managed to stand up.
Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. But hey, I got up once. Yeah, that's all I need, right? Okay, so I think I'm gonna retire now and just leave it to the pros. <laughs> Incredible. Awesome job. Thank you so much for having us out to share this with everybody. You got up the first day. That's an amazing <laughs> job. Not everybody does that. So you are officially a jet surfer. Yeah. You get to do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I get to do this? You get to do that. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> there we go. Well, everyone, I highly recommend jet surfing. Make sure to check out Dana and best of luck on your next competition. <laughs> Thank you much. All right. Yellow Texas. Yellow Texas. Want to learn more about this exciting sport? Visit Dana's Facebook page and follow him on social media for more info on motor surf racing. Okay, y'all, you know we're always bringing you the latest and greatest from the Lone Star State. So when we heard that the pop culture event Celebrity Fan Fest was coming back to San Antonio with even more celebrities and entertainment, you know we're checking it out. Celebrity Fan Fest is San Antonio's premier comic convention and it's coming back the weekend of June 14th through the 16th at the Freeman Coliseum and Expo Halls. Get ready because not only will two-time Academy Award nominee Jeremy Renner be there, but also Vision himself, Paul Bettany, and WWE superstars Becky Lynch and Daniel Bryan have been added to the guest list. Plus, returning by popular demand, Celebrity Fan Fest favorite Jason Momoa, except this time Aquaman is bringing some of his fellow co-stars, including Amber Heard. New to the lineup, fresh off his recent role in Once Upon a Deadpool, most notably known as the star of the Wonder Years, Fred Savage will join the growing list of celebrities. More star appearances will be announced in the upcoming days and weeks, and YOLO Texas is giving you a chance to experience all of the action. Yes, that's right, we are giving away a pair of three-day VIP passes, plus a photo op with one of these celebrities. All you have to do is like both YOLO Texas and Celebrity Fan Fest on Facebook, tag a friend, and share the post. That's it. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets right now at CelebrityFanFest.com. Again, that's CelebrityFanFest.com. And we cannot wait to see you out there. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. All right, question time. When you're out on the road, do you find yourself struggling trying to decide whether to eat healthy or not? Well, we may have found the perfect solution. There's a company right here in Texas who is inspiring others to lead a healthier life through delicious foods that are clean and full of hearty nutrients. Sound too good to be true, right? Well, come along as we sample a wild way of life. You know we always love a good road trip here on Yolo, Texas. There is just something about packing up the truck, cranking up the tunes, and setting our sights out on the open road. All right, so here's a question. Is it just me or do you two just toss out your normal eating habits when you're traveling out on the road? I mean, it is so easy being able to pick out a bag of chips or maybe a 100 calorie mix or maybe even a banana, but let's face it, there's nothing else to choose from at a convenience store. And most of the time, who are we fooling? It's bad for you most of the time, right? So how do I keep myself from spiraling down that rabbit hole time and time again? That's easy. Well, we choose the wild way of life. Wild Way is a San Antonio-based company that brings a different approach to breakfast and snack foods. Their granola is grain-free, gluten-free, and packed with nutrient-rich ingredients. So to fill us in on how it all got started, we sat down with founders and owners, Kelly and Kyle Kohler. The concept started, we tried to make a bar, but we only wanted to use real foods. We didn't want to use any sweeteners or any processed ingredients to hold it together, so we couldn't get it to hold together. So it crumbled and, and it made this kind of snack that we eventually were like, well, this still tastes really good. It's not a bar, but it still tastes great. We, wanted, we want to do something with it. And so it kind of evolved into this product that we ended up calling granola. So speaking of the recipe and working this out, because it is a grain-free granola. 
Yeah. How does that even work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what so, is the yeah. secret recipe? It's a bit of an oxymoron, <laughs> really. It's, it's really just made with nuts and seeds and dried fruit and spices and that's it. Um, so it is, it's very different than traditional granola and it's a lot harder to make and it's a lot harder to source. It's really just super clean, super natural. We think real food is the best way to produce products. We were living in New York City and working the corporate grind. We weren't doing something we were passionate about right. and wanted just a different life for ourselves. So we said, hey, we have this product idea. Certainly other people are looking for something like this. So right. we decided to move back to Texas to start the business. We took it to a couple of farmer's markets, sold out in an hour. Whole Foods was our first account. Where all can we find these products? Well, here in Texas, you can find us in HEB, Whole Foods, Central Market, yeah. Sprouts, Natural Grocers, uh, Kroger, and then in the rest of the country, Whole Foods, PCC, a couple of natural uh, food chains as well. Okay. You can also find us on Amazon Prime oh. and our website. Wild Way fuels the body for life's adventures. It's not only healthy, it also tastes good too. The moment we've all been waiting for, or yes. I've been waiting for. Well, we'll have you taste our coconut cashew. It's our best seller. Okay. And this is what we're gonna have you make today. Oh, perfect. Alrighty. Ooh, it's already nice and, nice and chunky. Yeah. yeah, chunky, soft and chewy. Where have you super been sweet. all my life? <laughs> oh my goodness. And super tasty, right? And very easy to eat. And soft. Makes it super easy to just eat by itself or you can add it to anything you want, like yogurt, you can make a parfait. Right. You can add milk to it, eat it like a cereal. People have thrown it on their salad, their sweet potato. This is better than any granola I've ever oh, tasted. You. And I'm, I'm being completely <laughs> sincere about all of this. Oh. this. This is delicious. It's it's full of flavor. So we have two other lines of products. We have our hot cereals. And then this is our brand new line. Brand new product, it's a fruit and nut snack mix. Now that we've gone a glimpse of what we can buy. Do you mind showing us how it is all made? Yeah, yeah. I think we could put her to work. Let's do it. And in true Yolo Texas form, we suited up and got to work. Alrighty. Okay. Here's where all the magic happens. Oh yeah. Here's what we're gonna start with. All right, so the first ingredient we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in walnuts. Next up, some nice Texas pecans here. Got our seeds here. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and start the mixer and get those nice and blended together. A little secret ingredient, spices, dates, and last but not least. And the most important ingredient in the flavor, coconut cashew, the coconut. You wanna try? I do, I do. Go for it. Really, really? Yeah, yeah take okay. a piece. So fresh, so good. Oh my goodness, that's so good. We did that. Yeah. All right, so if you're hitting the road or if you're just looking for a healthier snack option, reach out and grab yourself some Wild Way granola. It's not only great for your gut, it's also easily accessible for us Texans, and it's not only grain free, it's great tasting. Can't beat that. Live wild by purchasing these tasty treats today. Order online at wildwayoflife.com. Stick around because after the break, we are headed to a fiesta that includes two of our favorite things, community and food, right here on Yolo, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. For our next Yellow Texas destination, we're taking you to one heck of a party, or fiesta rather, known as Fiesta in San Antonio. The highlight of the Alamo City social calendar is 12 days of parades, parties, music, dancing, tradition, and community, and Ariel is guiding you through one event that'll have your taste buds satisfied at the Taste of Northside. So San Antonio has a long history as a melting pot for cultures and their different types of cuisines and recently has been getting a reputation as a bit of a foodie paradise. So that's what makes this event so special. So let's go ahead and check it out. Held at the club at Santera, this epic event is host to over 50 of San Antonio restaurants as well as beer, wine, spirits tastings, and live stages to keep the party moving. There's so much food, so many drinks, 
probably gonna taste one of everything tonight. We have steak kebabs. We have white fish ceviche with uh, lime and pico de gallo. I could probably eat this all day. And we are offering a lobster tartare crostini. It just melts in your mouth. We've got prime tenderloin chili with uh, jalapeno cornbread and chipotle cream. This is why I love HEB so much. Can't even imagine what goes into creating these recipes. Like they're on point every single time. Taste of Northside has so much to offer, so let's go ahead and dive right in. And the selection didn't disappoint. With craft brews and wines from all over Texas and the world, there's something for everyone. So, it's like unlimited food here. It's so good. Cookies! To help me choose my next destination, I met up with Kim Jeffries, Executive Director at Brighton Center, to learn more about this special event. What makes Taste of Northside so unique compared to all the other Fiesta events going on? So we call it Fiesta for Foodies okay. because our food is upscale Fiesta food. We have something for everybody. And it's also different because it's a one price ticket. So you pay your ticket price and it gets you into the event, your entry, your parking, your shuttle, five drink tickets and unlimited food. Okay, I'm definitely taking advantage of the unlimited food. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. It's a great deal for your money during Fiesta. All the proceeds go to the Brighton Center, correct? Yes. Yeah, and at Brighton we provide services to kids with disabilities and their families, over 3,800 a year. And so we provide services that kind of level the playing field for kids to make sure that they have the same opportunities their peers do. Hardest question, what restaurant should I check out? <laughs> you have to check out Maggiano's, you have to check out the melting pot, they bring this chocolate fondue that is to die for. And then, I mean, there's so many, it's hard to choose. There's barbecue, Mexican hot cuisine, street tacos, and everything in between. What are y'all serving? We've got right. strawberry, brownie, and a pound cake on there, all covered with the melted chocolate. Oh my gosh, that chocolate's amazing. We're doing our rigatoni D. This is, uh, we're making it with pipette pasta, so we got marsala cream sauce, herb roasted chicken, and balsamic roasted mushrooms. It's delicious. Let me take my second bite. In between bites, I asked around to see what everyone else was trying. So the quesadillas are really good. I'm gonna go with the crawfish. Uh, barbecue ribs, those are really good. From the food to the people to the music, Taste of Northside truly lives up to the spirit of Fiesta. Make sure to put this on your to-do list. But as for now, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta! Want to learn more about Brighton Center and how to attend Taste of Northside? Visit the link below for more information. Coming up, we're taking Yolo, Texas to the Frio River for a fun getaway designed by women, for women, in Concan, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yolo, Texas. Alright, so this one is for all my ladies. Are you in need of a little girl time? Well, what if I told you there's an event that caters to us women who love the outdoors? Yep, it's totally a thing, and it's a fun weekend retreat filled with adventure, enlightening panels, glamping, and wine. Sounds like fun, right? And I haven't even begun to scratch the surface yet. So gather your best girls, your mom, daughter, sister, or co-worker, and spend a weekend in fresh air on the Frio, learning something new with an empowering support group at the first ever Women Who Wander Outdoor Retreat. If you watch the show, you know that Concan is one of our favorite places to visit in the state. But this time around, we're here for the first ever Women Who Wander Retreat Weekend. It benefits the Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation. So what do you say? Let's go wander. The Women Who Wander Retreat had so much to offer. So to find out what was happening this weekend, I met up with Annabelle and Jamie. We are here at the inaugural Women Who Wander Weekend Retreat. Tell me, how did y'all meet and how did y'all come up with this idea? Annabelle and I are on the uh, Texas Hill Country River Region Board together. Annabelle's executive director and I'm president. We've been talking for years about having a women's retreat, but it was more kind of hunting and fishing focused. So uh, I called Annabelle and I said, here's the concept. And Annabelle went, <laughs> and now it's all these things that you know, I don't do, yoga and meditation and art and not yet, and not yet. <laughs> all these fun things where it, the initial vision was about this big and now it's like this. What are the events that are going on? Tonight we've got a excellent dinner buffet and some wine tasting and some great live music. Lynn Templeton is here playing and tomorrow they're going to hit the ground running. They're going to do things like kayaking, paddle boarding, archery. 
All, all yeah. sorts of things. And then we've got a great concert tomorrow night. Maddie and Tay are here, the Almost Patsy Klein Band. We've got some food trucks. We've got all kinds of fun stuff going on all weekend long. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. Let's go take a look around. Absolutely. Perfect. All right. Y'all are so cute. With so many great things to do, the question was what to do first. Then the wine tasting caught my eye. Very nice. It's smooth, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Nice and light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Next, I tried my hand at a little kayaking. Hey! <laughs> I'm legit stuck. We all sat down to that huge dinner buffet. And I ended the night with some relaxing yoga. There was so much to do that I couldn't get to everything, but the women who stayed for the entire weekend clearly had a fantastic time. Looks like the ladies of Women Who Wander are all set up for a great weekend. If you're ever in this region, make sure to stop by and just take in the beauty that is Texas. Start planning for next year's outdoor retreat by visiting WomenWhoWanderTexas.com. And if you want to wander on your own, you can book a cabin by the river at the Frio Country Resort and check out VisitUvaldeCounty.com to plan your adventure today. That is all the time we have here on the show. We hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Follow along through every journey by following us on our social media sites and watch past episodes by visiting our website at yellowtx.com. Until next time, remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see you out there.